Hey guys, it's meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And first off, let's go to one of my bullseyes. Look at the camera at Steamboat. Um, it is it is up to the sign as far. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's got patrol going in. This is this is just pure luck. I had no idea this was going to happen. Let's just see what what he does or she. Oh my gosh, look how deep that is. I had no idea this was going to happen. Look at this. So let me just fill in the gaps here. Um, I, I have to get this guy's name. Um, this is fantastic. So um, 30 plus inches in 72 hours. Um, look into the numbers off of Buffalo Pass, which is just north, one of the snowiest spots in all of Colorado. Um, could be pushing 50 inches of snow in the last three days, three to four days. Um, there's like 3.7 inches of SWE. Um, snow water equivalent up there on Buff Pass. So temperatures have been hovering around 10 degrees at 10,000. So um, this has been a great, fast northwest flow. Just watching them dig out. Look at that. That's that's a lot of snow. Big powder. I heard there was a lot of traffic. Big lift lines. Um, but that's what happens these days. All right. Thank you, sir, for your uh, for everything you do up there at Steamboat. I got to move on. All right, here we go with my uh, bullet points. So this is all part of a western pattern pivot. We talked about how the fast northwest flow would turn into an Arctic front dropping north to south. That's exa exactly what's happening. Now, after the snow finally cuts off, and there's still more to fall than Steamboat. <laughs> Look at him clearing all the way all that snow. It's awesome. Um, then we're going to hit a quiet period, 2-1 through about 2-5, um, where there's not much that's going to happen across the west. What will happen is all the heavy snow is going to shift up into the Pacific Northwest and B.C., um, Baker, Whistler, Blackcomb in particular. So we'll look at all that coming up. And I really don't have much for the Northeast, two or three different storm systems, uh, really just clippers with very light accumulation. And that's probably going to do it. You know, my guess is when I'm looking at this guy digging this out, there was more than 11 inches in 24 hours on top of the mountain where this is at. I mean, that looks really deep. All right, let's go into the jet pattern. Um, I want to show you what it's going to look like on 2.7. Split jet, not a lot happening here. Most of it's being routed north and south. So this is on the heels of the quiet period, 2.1 through about 2.5. So really just waiting on some gelling of the pattern. There's not much there. Um, let me take you into the, um, into the forecast. Well, this is the this is the setup on water vapor. Big high retrograding, opening the door for the Arctic front dropping south becomes a southern track storm. But like I've been saying the last couple of days, weaker and weaker as far as total snow in southern Colorado. I've taken the numbers down. We'll get to those numbers here. Let me just show you what the forecast is on the radar in the satellite. So there's Monday morning at six. Everything's dropping down. So Monday's a powder day in Colorado, probably Utah and leftover snow in Wyoming. Not much happening there. 2122, big quiet period. More uh, precip 232425 will be big up in Baker and Whistler. That's really where the big powder will be 232425 while most of the west undergoes a quiet period. All right, let me take you back. We'll look at some uh, numbers here. All right, so this is all of today through the 31st, potentially another foot up at Steamboat. I mean, this has been a big big powerful northwest flow in that area. Um, good snow along I-70 and eh, 4 to 8, 5 to 10 southern mountains of Colorado. Another 3 or 4 in the, the Wasatch. So Monday's going to be a powder day in a lot of these areas. Let's look down the road. So this is 2127, 21 through 27. Really the big stuff is in California and then up into Baker, Whistler, 2345, 26, and probably Revelstoke. Maybe another seven to eight there over the Tetons. So some decent numbers in pockets. Um, let's look at the north. Oh, here's one specialty map, 129 um, through uh, 27. So grand totals in Colorado during that period. You can see where the numbers are biggest. Um, but not bad, not bad. A lot of that's falling today into Monday in Colorado. All right, here's the northeast. So this is uh, 130 through 27, one to six inches will do it. Two to three different clippers moving very quickly through the area. All right, guys, let's just uh, check this out one more time. Um, see what's going on if, nope, he's gone. Okay, there you go. This has been a